This is a short video about how reference sets are used in assembly mass properties calculations. Uh, in NX, reference sets are used for two distinct things. It's important to understand these two different things and the way they're used in the, for these two different things. One of them is, is the kind of the traditional controlling of display of, of component geometry at higher levels in assemblies, right? So we can choose specific uh, objects within a component or within a part. To, uh, to, to display or not display as we, as we see that component at higher levels in, in assemblies out there. Um, often this is used to hide things like construction bodies and, and uh, construction geometry, curves and points and things like that that are not necessarily part of the finished part, uh, the part as we want to see it in, in assemblies, but, uh, but, are, but are present in the part, right? So it lets us, again, be selective about what's displayed. The, the second way reference sets are used, and it's distinct here, <laughs> is for identifying specifically geometry and, and even more specifically solids that are gonna be considered for uh, component mass properties, okay? So this display of component geometry, controlling display and controlling mass properties are distinct, okay? We're gonna both use reference sets, but they're gonna use them in, in, uh, in two different settings, two different ways. So let's look at this assembly a little bit. This little landing gear assembly here, you'll notice is uh, 116.5 kilograms, right? And, and we'll come back to this number a few times in, in mostly looking to see that this is not gonna change much here as, as we do some things. Um, so we'll keep coming back to that number, 116.5, right? Um, to, to start off, it's an easy one here. For instance, if we come to these wheels right here, these two wheels, and we hide these wheels, these wheels, the mass, of course, is about 38 kilograms. Again, the total here is 116.5. If we hide these wheels, we just, just turn those off, then, uh, of course, they're not visible in the screen, and, and, but you'll notice that it's grayed out here because they're not visible anymore. The mass is the same, right? The, the, the wheels haven't been taken out of the assembly, they're still part of the assembly. Um, the total mass of the assembly is still 116.5. Everything's still up to date here, right? We, we're just not displaying those right now. And that's that's okay, right? <laughs> that's normal. We can turn those on and off. And the fact that we're displaying or not displaying a component at this, this particular moment doesn't change the fact that it has mass, that it's part of the assembly, and that it's contributing mass to the, to the, uh, to the top level assembly here, right? Now, in, in a very analogous way, very, very similar way, changing the reference set uh, in, the, in the assembly navigator here for a component also, very exactly the same, does not change the mass of that component or, or the assembly. Uh, so for instance, if we grab this axle uh, up here, let's hide those wheels, uh, this axle is down in here, right? And this particular axle right here, again, 1.7 kilograms, again, 116.5 total up there, right? And if we take that axle, which right now is using the model reference set, and we change that to empty here, for instance, changing this to empty is just really gonna hide this component. It's not removing it from the assembly, it's still part of the assembly, it's still present, it still has mass, it's still gonna be there. So as we change this reference set to empty, that'll make this solid disappear, but, but again, we still have 1.7 kilograms of mass in the assembly, the component's still part of the assembly, total up here is still 116.5, okay? So, uh, again, this is, uh, this is uh, an important thing, right? <laughs> we're using the reference set, well, we're using the reference set here for display, okay? Now, the other thing we can look at here, let's bring that back just for fun, bring that back here in, in model, um, is if we turn on the mass properties panel here and look at some of these things, we can, we can see some things here too. So if we look at that axle in particular, Okay, again, here's our 1.7 kilograms. Um, this configuration context down here will give us some more information about exactly what we're doing with mass properties. And this is gonna tell us here in here that we, we are also coincidentally using the, uh, the, actually by default out of the box, <laughs> we're using this same model reference set to calculate the mass properties for this particular component. And so the, the long and short of that is that this model reference set is the one that we're looking at for mass, regardless of what we're doing with display up here. So for instance, up here again, if we were to take that and put that back to empty, this one could be on empty uh, up here, but the mass, we're still using that same model reference set to calculate the mass, okay? To look at this the other way, the, this component 
contains not just, let me zoom up on that, not just this solid, right? But, but actually there are some construction bodies in here as well. And if we switch this up here to entire part, again, mass is 1.7, assembly is 116.5. We can switch this to the entire part and we can see those construction, orange construction bodies that, that are part of that component as well. Now again, those are not part of the finished part, right? Those are not part of the, the model reference set. We're still using the model reference set for mass. We're displaying more bodies out here using the reference set, right? But we're using that model reference set specifically for mass. And so the mass is still 1.7. We're displaying more than that now, right? But, uh, but, but that's, our, that's our, uh, our mass that we're using, okay? Now, we can look at that a little closer. If we go and, and look in th this particular component in here, Again, that's our finished part here, uh, is, is uh, the, the end of that one. And as we look out here, there are some, again, some of those construction bodies that are, that are hidden at the moment. If we unblank everything there, for instance, we can see a bunch of those and see those extra bodies out there. But if we look at the reference set here, go to assembly reference sets and look at the model reference set, of course, you can see just that finished body is in the model reference set. Now, everything's in the entire part, right? There we got all of those guys are in the entire part, but only that particular body is in the, is in the model reference set there. And so that's the only one we're using for mass, okay? Um, if we come back in here, uh, let's see, by default, and the question is, how, how, is, that, how is that specified, right? Um, the customer defaults are, the, are the, the standard way to do that. And uh, if we go into to gateway and mass here, this is where, where it's located. Um, we'll see right here is, is this little guy, this mass properties reference set precedence right here. And, and what this is going to do is, is tell NX which reference sets to use, uh, in, in kind of a precedence order. The default here is for this to be empty. This master solid is one that a particular customer used for their reference set and for, for mass. And, and so we can put that in there and NX will consider that first uh, if we want to. But by default, this is empty down here. And if we look at the tooltip here, it'll tell us that, let me bring that up just a little higher. <laughs> there we go. That uh, about halfway down there, if no reference sets are specified or defined in the list here, uh, or if the reference sets to find the list are not found in the part, then the system by default here is going to use the model reference set if available. Okay, again, that model reference set is the default. It's the out of box, out of the box default. The the needs for display and for mass often align here, right? <laughs> that, that model reference set is a good place to start here. Um, and, and then it says, uh, use the model reference set if available. If no model reference set is, exists in a part, then empty will be used. Okay, so models, the, the, the out of the box default, if there's no model reference set, then empty will be used. And we see that empty, uh, for instance, when we are looking at assemblies, right? Uh, so we get things like this linkage assembly here, uh, for instance, where this has a couple of components in it. Each of these components here, of course, has geometry. They have, have uh, uh, geometry in them. And so we'll, we'll by default use the model reference set there. They're, these contain a model reference set automatically. The assembly here does not contain any geometry of its own, right? It only contains, contains those components. And so by default, NX does not create a model reference set at this subassembly level. Um, so as NX looks at this assembly here, it does not see a model reference set here. So it's using empty for that particular uh, subassembly. And that's fine. Right, the subassembly that's at that's at empty, but the the components are are at uh, using the model reference set, so it's rolling up that mass the way we would we would think it is. Right, so generally, uh, again, customer default is going to be the best way to to set that and standardize that across a company out, out there. Again, model reference set is the out of the box default there. If you have something else you've been using legacy, uh, that you can totally put it in there, and uh, it'll consider that first. Right, now. You can override this setting for a specific component uh, if you really want to. <laughs> and uh, we use this to support some legacy usages uh, out there. But uh, in, the, in the component settings and the options here for a specific component like that axle that we're looking at, let's look at it in here just for fun. Again, mass, mass there that we're looking at was 1.7, right? If we look in the options here for this particular component, there's a, a work part settings in here. 
And so for this work part, we can override this reference set. And we don't recommend this. Again, we want you to use a more standardized approach. Uh, again, out of the box, the model reference set will be the default there. But for instance, if we really, really wanted to, we could say for this component, I want to use the entire part uh, reference set for mass, right? Specifically, again, we're changing it in here, not in the assembly navigator. Um, so, so inside, not, not in the tree up here at least, right? And so in this case here, we'd override this, for instance, and say we want to use the entire part. And when we do that, then uh, our mass will go out of date here. We can recalculate this part. And now you can see this is 2.5, 2.6 uh, kilograms, right? Because this is starting to include all of those, uh, all of those uh, construction bodies uh, in there. And if we go back and look at the assembly, here again, we can see that's 2.6. And now this has changed, right? This is 117.4 instead of our 116.5 before, okay? So again, if we come back to that axle, come back, turn off that override, bring it back so we're just considering the final part right there, right? We can turn that off and that'll bring us back to our 1.7 here. That's what our real desired one is there. We want to just use the model reference set for mass in this case. Uh, again, that'll bring this one as well back to 1.7 here and bring us back to our 116.5, okay? And, and display-wise, this is, this is funky and so we'll take this and move this back to model as well right turn on the wheels and we're back to uh, where we started okay so again um, two uh, distinct things right that that reference sets are used for uh, one is for changing display up here and again super important principle there changing the display doesn't change the mass calculations right we can tr show and hide components and that doesn't affect mass we can change reference sets of components up here for display purposes, and that won't affect the mass. Uh, if we need to affect the mass, or we want to change the mass, choose specific bodies inside a component to, uh, to, to do that. We can either choose to move those in or out of the model reference set, or we can choose a different reference set, set up a different reference set, and, uh, and either choose that through the customer defaults or override that for a specific component down there. Again, doing that, you think standardization first, right? Think of the, the common way to do that across your company first and, uh, and think about those part-specific edits second, okay? So I hope that's useful explanation for you.